Um, what's up guys? This is my uh, first video. I'm reviewing cigars. Um, first cigar that I'm going to review today is the Mackin Udo Ascots. Um, comes in a very thin case. When I bought it, it was on a shelf. And it looked like this, so I thought it was a deep case, but it turns out it would be very thin. A little disappointed, uh, 10 cigars. Um, look a little like this. Plastic wrap while being in case aluminum. Um, gold wrap. Gold wrapper lines it up, I mean, um, I've been smoking these a while, so... Alright, the uh, first time I smoked these, I didn't have a cutter, so I uh, bit, and it completely ruined the cigar, it fell apart right in my hand, bad idea. Second time, I used scissors, still fucked up the cigar, didn't make it very enjoyable, wasn't good. Yesterday, because it is 4 o'clock in the morning... <laughs> Um, I went to a uh, newsstand by and I asked if they had cutters and they had double guillotine, uh, Los Rambles, it's backwards, um, I've used it twice already, good cutter, cheap three bucks I think it cost me, um, inclined blade, as you can see right there, uh, double Sided, it doesn't matter which side you use, double incline. Um, strong blade, high quality for three bucks. I'm pretty happy. So, the cigar, um, I don't know if you can see, but it's very box pressed, very skin, very square. Um, labels not that great to look at, so I just rip it off every time I smoke it. So, uh, first time I smoked it, as I said, I bit it. Wasn't enjoyable at all. Um, fell apart in my hands. Uh, used natural flame Bic lighter. Don't recommend it. Um, I have this because they I mean they're cheap, easy to get. I mean college kids, so not that fun to look at. Yes, I'm in college. I know I look young. Um, so yeah, used the cutter just now, and I just got inside about f 15 minutes ago. Um, cut the tip, very, very small crown, as you can see, not a bite off, which is very disappointing, um, cut it the first time, lit it, drew it, nothing, cut it a little bit farther, not too much, as I thought, but, got a nice draw out of it, but, um, Later on, as I started smoking, it started unraveling it, so very hard to cut with a cutter. Um, overall, I mean, they cost me like 10 to 11 bucks for 10 cigars. Great price. I was very happy about that for 10 of these. A little bit small and reminded me of a black amount short, a little bit bigger. Um... Inside came with this little note basically saying that um, Mac Macanudo is the finest cigar in the world today. Um, tobacco's aged two years, placed in cedar lined room until rich blend together. Um, makes it your enjoyment is our reputation. First time fell apart in my hand, wasn't happy with this at all. The tobacco was very dry, was not kept in a humidor, bought it at Walgreens. Um, just went outside with a cutter. Made it was a lot easier to light, a lot better. It stayed intact pretty much till the end when it started falling apart because of the cut, but um, very, very good. So. Um, cigars did not come with cedar, did not come with like some cedar lining in the back or in the wrapper, nothing, no, nothing to light, so I needed to use my natural flame Bic, um, 
I will not smoke with a torch lighter. I do not like the way they burn the tobacco, no matter how high or low I set it, the torch always burns it. So, um, yeah, so the taste was very, very, oh, what's the word? Very exclusive. Like, I've never tasted a cigar like this, uh, maybe because it's, like, the most best brand, but I'm used to smoking Romeo and Julietta's, so... It was an alright taste, cheap. You could tell that the quality of the cigar wasn't great. Um, my the aftertaste was very, very charcoaly, and my mouth like still feels like there's a little something in there. The taste of the wrap was pretty good. Um, usually from cigars, you get like that really relaxing buzz, like oh, I feel good, like I really don't want to do anything, just chill out in a chair. This is a completely different cigar, I feel. Um, I just went outside and smoked it, like, maybe 3.50. It's like 4.04 in the morning. Just got inside, literally. And, I mean, I could go out and go out on the town right now. Um, definitely, I mean, chilling, going out with your boys, something great cigar just to like go out and like have a good time while you're drinking or doing stuff like that maybe going to smoke after again definitely like a two two cigar night definitely but buy them from a like a cigar shop or a place where they're kept in humidors do not buy them from walgreens the tobacco is very dry and burns very easily i have a very charcoaly taste in my mouth right now um if it wasn't for that it would have been pretty good uh, so, overall review, pretty good for uh, 10 bucks. very, very cheap. Um, when I first opened it, I was like, oh, gold lining, you know, must be good. Wasn't that great. Um, if you're going to spend the money on, like, a 10 bucks cigar, but, like, if you're just, like, a start out smoker, like, only smoke with cigars like maybe once in a while they're really they're they're more of like a if you were to choose between these or like a black and mild short or like a black and mild like original honestly i would recommend if you know how to light a cigar and how to cut it correctly these are going to cost you a little more but they give you more but i mean if you're just starting out smoking cigars and like really don't want to Get the bad from the cigarettes and stuff like that. Get like black and mild shorts. Um, black and mild, I mean, they have that cancer paper inside the lining, but I mean, I really have never heard of anybody getting stuff from that. So, um, so yeah, these were made in the Dominican Republic. I believe it said. And it's an overall good cigar, but not that great. Um, very small, like in re relativity to like glasses, smaller than that. Um, great smell when you first get it out. I don't know it's in the wrapper, but it smells really strong. You can get through to it. Um, as I said, very box pressed. I mean. When I first got it, I mean, it was almost impossible getting them out if it wasn't for the paper. Like, the paper lifts out. Almost impossible to get them out. That's how pressed they were. I mean, here's, here's two side by side, just to show how box pressed they were. Almost square, which I was not happy about because I like my cigars round from tubes. Um... As I said, I really only smoked Romeo and Julietta's before these, so I was very disappointed. Um, for ten bucks, though, it was a good cigar. Um, reminded me really of a Black and Mild, so not much you can do. Um, I definitely recommend these over cigarettes, though, because cigarettes are just—I don't even want to know how they taste. I don't—I don't smoke cigarettes. I mean, 
I really don't think that it's worth getting into. They don't relax you. They're, they they offer nothing. Um. So yeah, it's double guillotine cut cutter. Um, you can get a wedge cutter that like limits how much it is. I think for these, because the small cap, like how small it is, maybe a wedge cutter might get in a little too deep. So this might be like your best bet. You know, you can regulate how much. Oh. You can regulate how much uh, goes in, how much you take off. Um, very hard to get the right amount though, because I barely took off enough the second time, and it was, it was like, oh no, falling apart now. So, overall review out of ten, I'd give it maybe a six. A little bit bumped up, cause I mean. So, yeah, I had 10 and now I'm down to 4 the first one I cut first one I cut um, fell apart second one I cut I didn't cut actually my second one I just wanted to see if you had to cut it because I wasn't too sure because this was my first cigar um, I've had these for a while um, didn't cut and like nothing was coming out so I poked a hole in the top with a poker and I uh, yeah. Cigar fell apart. Very dry. Very dry because it wasn't kept in a humidor. Um, I don't know if you can see, but you really can't. But the wrapping is very loose. I mean, it could run my finger over it and it would just fall apart right in my hand. Um, actually, I wound up making two bucks off of one of them, sold them because the kid didn't know how good they were. Pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Got a little money back. Um, when you're going out with a bunch of your friends, you know, if you can find these in like a humidor somewhere, I definitely recommend them then. But overall, if you see them in like a Walgreens or a 7-Eleven up on the shelf, don't waste your money. Buy, buy a two packs of Black and Mild, same price. You get much better quality, easier to light, easier to smoke. Um... So, yep, yeah, probably will be posting a review of the Romeo and Juliet um, short cigar. I really don't know the name of it, didn't really say, but um, actual cigar, first one I had, had it earlier. Um, so look back for that one, and potentially later on maybe doing a Romeo and Juliet uh, Churchill Tubo, big one bout. This big relativity to my head, about like that big or so. Nice aluminum silver tube. So, uh, subscribe and look back. Alright, see you guys.